Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. In this video, I'll talk about transformer I squared R pertinent to Y and delta connections. So let's start with I squared R in, y con in a Y connection. So let's assume we have a three phase transformer where the line to line resistance is RLL. So the total I squared R of this winding, meaning the Y winding, so we have three phases, so it's three times I squared R of the phase current times the phase resistance. So three times the phase current is the same as the line current squared times. So the phase resistance is one half of the line to line resistance. And if you want to know about the derivation of this uh, or the relationship between a Phase resistance, a line to line resistance, you can watch. There is a video that talks about this calculation. So it's just 1.5 times I squared, I, uh, the line current squared times the line to line resistance. <coughs> so here's an example the three phase transformer where the winding resistance is 3 ohms and line current is 100 amps. So if I apply this equation here, so the total I squared R is equal to 1.5 times the line current squared, 100 squared times 2 times 3. So I am given winding resistance, which is 3 ohms, but I really need line to line resistance. And line to line resistance is 2 times the phase resistance. That's why I multiply by 2. So if I carry out the calculation, it's 90 kilowatt. Now let's figure out I squared R in a delta connection. So again, we have a three-phase tra uh, three transformer where the line-to-line -line resistance is R L L. <coughs> so the total I squared R of a delta, we have three phases again. It's, it's really the same equation, three times I squared R of the phase current times the uh, phase resistance. So it's equal to three times the, in a delta. The phase current is equal to the line current divided by square root three. So quantity squared times the, the, phase, the phase resistance in a delta is three halves of the line to line resistance. And again, I would recommend watching a video in this regard that talks about the relationship between the phase resistance and line to line resistance in a Y or delta connection. So if I carry out the calculation, it's 1.5 times I, a line current squared times a line to line resistance. So the conclusion is this is the same formula we we came up with for the Y connection. So it doesn't matter wh whether it's a Y or a delta connection. The I squared R is 1.5 times the line current squared times the line to line resistance. But it's you just want to make sure you, you know how to calculate the line current and also the line to line resistance because they're different for Y versus delta. Let's do a quick example, a three-phase transformer with a winding resistance of 3 ohms and a line current of 100 amps. So basically I'm using the same example. The total I squared R is 1.5 times the line current, which is 100 squared times I'm given phase resistance. And I know the line to line resistance is two-thirds of the phase resistance. So if I carry out the calculation 30 kilowatts. That's it for this video. Thank you and have a great day.